Hey guys, how are you doing today? So today I am bringing you my Cozy Thon TBR. Um, I was working with Sylvia K, the creator of the Cozy -a Thon Readathon that starts on October 1st, and I recommended a cozy mystery. Um, I had actually already read that cozy mystery, but I wanted to create a Cozy Thon TBR, and it is going to go up today, Saturday, the 30th of September. It should have gone up yesterday, but I had technical difficulties. And so I am going to bring you three books today that I hope to read within the next two weeks because the Cozy Athon is from August 1st all the way through, I think it's two weeks, August 14th. And so without further ado, the three books that I am going to read are Caught Bread Handed by Ellie Alexander. And this reminded me of like the fall themed um, challenge, the fall themed looking book with orange and it's just, it's gonna be fantastic. It's all about Jules Capshaw and she owns a bakery with her mother in Ashland, Oregon. And of course, all of Ellie Alexander's books have these amazing little skulls on them. Um, I actually just found out that she has a sticker set for the iPhones. And yes, I totally did um, get them. This is a judgy free zone, guys. Like, I can hear you silently judging me. But they're so cute. I had to. So, I'm super excited for this. It's all about the Oregon Shakespeare Festival. Um, it's dark for the winter, and so I know it's not winter yet. It's, you know, the beginning of autumn, but I'm super excited for this. Another book that I am super excited to read that has been on my TBR, gosh, since the beginning of the summer, since I bought it, is A Darker Shade of Magic by V.E. Schwab. I am super excited about this it's based in london and it's a fantasy i believe and with like the different types of worlds of london in it and i've been to london and it was cold and rainy and that just seems like the perfect like cozy kind of weather and i know it's a chunky book but i'm still i'm still super super excited to read it i think that it's going to be fantastic and the last book that I have for my cozy a thon is Maggie Steve Otter's All the Crooked Saints. I actually got the um, ARC from Scholastics. They sent this to me. And so I'm super excited to read it. It does come out on October 10th, which is just during the time of the cozy a thon. And so I was like, you know what? You've never read a Maggie Steve Otter book. And it's coming out during the cozy a -thon, why not? So I'm super excited. Um, the back intrigues me. It says, here's the thing everyone wants, a miracle. Here's the thing everyone fears, what it takes to get one. And so I don't know what this is about. I'm sort of going in blind, but I think it's going to be a really fantastic read. Of course, there are all different kinds of challenges for the cozy -a -thon. And what's awesome about this cozy -a -thon is that it is super laid back. Like, you don't have to get all of it done. It's just some suggestions like read while taking a bath or go to a coffee shop and read. Read a chapter first thing in the morning. I'll leave all of the challenges down below as well as the books that I chose. Let me know if you're doing the Cozy-a-thon and actually I would love it if you would link your Cozy-a-thon TBR videos down below or if you don't have a channel but you watch me anyway and you wanted to do the Cozy-a-thon, give me a list of the books that you plan on reading or maybe some of the challenges that you want to do. And that's the end of this chapter of Courtagonist. I hope that you guys have so much fun doing the cozy -a -thon. I think it's a brilliant idea. And please subscribe and like this video and comment down below all of the things that you're going to read. I'm super excited to see all of the social media, like on Twitter and Instagram and all of the videos as well. Hey, if you guys want me to sort of vlog the next two weeks of reading and like what I feel as I'm reading these books, just let me know down below and I would be happy to do that. And until next time, guys, happy reading. Bye.